Hello guys, welcome back to German Auto House. Here we specialize on supercar, exotic car and car repair. Today start work on Maserati 2015. This is the Maserati Ghibli. And this car guys have a problem with a heavy misfire and half bank. Just like when the car is cold, the half bank is working. Oh, Lisa, do some magic. And crazy misfire. We diagnosed this car. I will post you right now the screen of the trouble code and you can see some problem with the timing and uh, timing it's need replace the timing chain and timing is timing chain is strange for sure this the problem with this and Alex start pull apart drain the coolant you can see the harness this like let's say some uh, wiper blade motor all plastic and he is ready to remove this radiator and remove uh, the valve cover and harness and intake manifold to have access to the timing chain we, we planning to keep oil pan i i hope anyway just like you can see all procedure for that replacement and timing tools and parts what we're gonna use for this repair and before i will pull apart this uh maserati i i just want to show you guys what kind of parts for that timing chain replacement you can use here is the kit here is the timing chain kit and you can see this kit it's uh, from uh, Jeep Wrangler 3.6 this is the exactly same here is the part number of this kit from this Chloe company and here is the water pump and uh, water pump I believe and uh, timing chain cover gasket and silicone it came from this came from Melee and here is the part number. Everything available from Volt Pack and it's really cheap. Solution it <laughs> depends you order from the Maserati. We can show you this is the timing tools right there. You can see timing marks, everything is looks good. This guy, this guy is fail and we actually have a problem from this bank. You can see one uh, timing guide, the plastic one is missing and yes, it's like, like no mark right there. And for sure the chain is strange and actually you can see how is, how is the engine looks inside. It's mean, it's not regular oil change or he did so many like the black stuff like carbon built but yeah chain is loose and plastic is missing well now we need to replace everything what we can see we have a timing chain kit we have a gasket almost everything what we need for that replacement And now we need to check the timing and here is the all procedure how to install the timing chain you can see here is the uh, mark on chain here and there yeah you can see that that one and here is the mark on the cam and let's go Alex almost set all timing install chains and like you can see guys here is the groove and here is the black tooth here is the black tooth and here is the groove it looks like it's not little bit good but 
it's this is how is this because you can see this mark right there on the chain and exactly same exactly same on another side yeah the guide is new all guide is new now it's Alex uh, you want to retort let's let's talk these things uh, you said how many uh, 150 newtons okay and this is just a one step for torque right one step one step okay just 150 newtons and no more no more other procedure No, you want a pre-torque. Okay, with yours. Okay, this bank is done. Hitch up to other side. Uh -huh. <laughs> And you also guys you start first from from this this intake on this side and on that side you start from the exhaust to just like straight the chain to start work tensioner. Okay. Uh, I'll finish. Yeah, he wanna finish. Okay. Under 15 newtons is it's a good torque. You're done, you're good. Little bit over torque, but it's, it's not nothing crazy. Okay, now it's need to install clean surface, install the timing cover, lubricate, need to clean this engine oil because we keep the oil pan on. We don't touch the oil pan. Yeah, and now it's ready to assemble it back and see what's going on. Now it's time to install the water pump and valve cover. They usually with the only silicone, no any gasket over there except the spark plugs tube gasket. And this is just like not gasket, this is o-ring. Today is the day. Let's fire up. Uh oh. Fire up, fire up, fire up. Actually run good. Here we go guys. Here is the mileage. This happens at 65,000 mile. Now it's car running good. No problem. No misfire. No nothing. Perfect. Except the tire pressure light, but yeah, the problem with the sensor. Reset done. Just like I want to take that car to test drive, but actually the mission complete. Car is back to customer and and we turn to another project. Stay tuned. Hello everybody, German Auto House here and I would like to show you guys one car what we got from our customer. Uh, and I wanna show you this, uh, the turbo build. Let's say turbo build because uh, I'm not sure what is this. The car came from B-Rock. Uh, maybe you heard that guys about this company. It's uh, from Chicago. And this is the actual uh, turbo build what they done. I'm I'm really surprised. The car just came from from Chicago, and the customer, our customer, he's asked to help to do that. Car is running. Car is running. Uh, is really not good, and uh, he replaced auto sensor because the fail with the auto sensors. And you can see this is the turbos. <laughs> what they install this is comp turbos uh let's say grease turbos no any protection no heat shield 
this car came like that without the bumper without the bumper reinforcement they cut the fender liner and still original cut inside they know the lead the cut but i have so many questions about what they did and actually this like this is all clamps like that is you can see this is the clamps you can just like move by finger and i'm sure they start working. this is not only one this is like all the clamps like this all the clamps you can move see oops 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 the intercooler let's say it's a baby cooler and guys this is this is the 40000 he pay 4 grand for this turbo kit this is about 5 psi boost i anyway i want to check i want to do the data login and check actually what's going on on this car uh but i'm i'm really not understand how how it's possible the bumper is not installed back they have to ship this bumper back i'm sure and they promised the ship i don't know this is this is looks really weird because the overheat protection nothing no any shield it came like that i don't know For this amount of money, yeah, it's easy to get the ship race or AMS. It's like this is the ball bearing turbos, the Garrett one, not this garbage. And uh, actually, you have to regrease these turbos every 3,000 miles. I mean, just like pull the bumper out and some regrease because uh, it's stuck. But I, I, I don't know. I didn't trust this these things because I'm really long time specialized on on cars and I don't know I know how his turbos works and of course whatever journal bearing or ball bearing is way better and spool faster and you don't have any problem with that well guys if you want to lose 40k yeah go strictly to the bureau but uh, now I'm understand why it's a Stradman complain about this company because I see what they did and how they did it's it's not good it's not good